For the shows here in California, we make our own containers. And um, so we call these our show containers. And basically what they are is a ceramic or glass container with what's called a floral frog glued to the bottom. And we like using those because um, they're reusable. Um, for example, this, this vase was a gift from someone who showed dahlias in the, in the 50s, 1950s. So this is like 80 years old. And what usually happens when people are done showing, they pass their, their uh, containers down to the next person, which is really nice. So they, they're kind of recycled and, and we reuse them. And you know what you can do is once you have your floral flog glued into the bottom, then you can put these through your dishwasher and get them really clean for the shows. And actually that's something that's really important is that you have really clean containers for the show because if the water is dirty with, you know, even dust, um, that will get sucked up into the stem of the bloom and your bloom won't stay fresh as long. So I'm gonna just show you some of the containers here that um, are, are good and some that really I wouldn't recommend. Um, so I'm going to start with um, the, a good container would be a ceramic container, maybe like this with a floral frog um, securely glued in the bottom. You want to put your, at least your initials on the bottom so it shows, um, you know, to get your, your um, containers back. This one has my whole name on it, but um, you can just put your initials. Um, so small containers like this might be for singles that aren't very big, like maybe a a, a single or a colorette or something with a small thin stem and um, again the name on the bottom. Um, something glass like this definitely is usable but it's very light and the heavier it is the better because the bloom is tall and it can get top heavy and they get moved around like say you get you could move to the head table, you you might have um, it moved like three times till it gets to the head table and so it's nice to have a container that's really solid um, and so, you know, you can use anything like you see here. If you had a, you know, something like this, that's ceramic, you can use that. An old teacup would work. If you had a ceramic um, vase or, or, or even like a pitcher like this, that would work. And then you're gonna be gluing the floral frog to the bottom. So we're gonna go around and talk about floral frogs a little bit here because some of them don't work that great. Um, so what you're looking for in a good floral frog is these little tines here, or these little, they almost feel like um, pointed um, uh, nails that come up towards you, is you want them to be um, really close together, that's important, and you want them to be at least three quarters of an inch tall. So these guys are pretty tall, half to three quarters of an inch, with three quarters of an inch being even better. And then what you don't want is to have a little short ones like this that are then pretty far apart. You can see how much farther apart that is than these ones here. So the tines are spaced much farther apart. So, and what happens is like I did, I did glue this one in and these tines are spaced really far apart. And if I have a thin stemmed flower like this that I'm trying to stage, it's a hard to get, find one that I can only get onto one and I can't get my bloom to stay upright. But if I have tines that are close together, like this one, and also taller, makes it a lot easier to push these in and my stem stays exactly where I put it. So that's the reason to have taller tines and tines that are closer together. So you can buy these, these ones Julie got at Easy Pots and um, you can you buy them in multiples like this and you can see how nice and tall those tines are and how close together they are. These will work great for even a giant to you know a thin thin stem like this here. The other thing if you're planning on doing multiples like um, triples or fives you're going to want to shop around for a longer um, floral frog like this. Um, because you have to have them in the same container. That's one of the rules for the shows. Threes and fives have to be in the same container. You're gonna to wanna to shop around for some of these longer ones. And these can get kind of pricey. Um, so if you can find them online or at, uh, at Goodwill or someplace like that, that's really great. Um, so it saves you um, some, some costs that way. Um, the glue that we use is a silicon glue. It's 100% silicon. It's the glue you would might use in your shower or your bath, and it's clear. And what you do is you um, 
so I have this um, cup here that I'm going to use for a container, which is fine. Um, and I've got a nice long uh, floral frog here with nice long tines. It's perfect. The bottom is clean. The bottom in here is pretty clean. And what I'm going to do is just take the glue and do a generous amount of glue. If you just put a little bit like that on it, that wouldn't work. Um, you want to you want to give a really generous amount because you want it to squish out over the edge and kind of hold it in nice and tight. So you'd take it like this, stick it into the bottom, push it down, try to keep it centered. And then what you have to really do is wait 24 hours for it to dry. Um, what you don't want to do is the day of the show, start making your containers and bring this to the show. It won't be ready. Your flower will fall over. Um, and it'll make you, it'll also turn your water all cloudy. So it's, it's take it from me, I've done it before, but don't try not to do that. So, so th these are all the different ones that you could stick in here. A big one like this, you would really want to add a lot of glue to, put it down like this, stick it in there. Um, these long ones, you might need some help with uh, something to get it down into, this, into the center uh, with the glue on it down like that. So you can do all that. Here's one that needs to be repaired. So I'm going to put some glue, new glue on that and stick it on here and add some extra glue. Sometimes they pop off when you pull your flower out. It's not common, but it does happen from time to time. So um, I think that's pretty much it for now.